food process equipment design. So now we will discuss this in a little more detail. As we said that the risk that are there due to the poor hygienic designs, they can be caused by incorrect positioning of equipment and utility installation. And this is maximized when we have surfaces such as horizontal surfaces, hollow bodies and dead space. Uh, similarly, if there is a bad drainage system or inefficient or insufficient cleanability of the system, accessibility to every part of equipment or the processing lines and non-resistant materials. So in summary, these were the problems that may arise or these are the things that must be avoided in order to have a good uh, equipment design. So as we earlier said, the main purpose is to avoid contaminations from birds, animals, microorganisms uh, and other material that might migrate from one surface to another, uh, or even from constructions or equipment parts, lubricants, etc., etc. So these all um, things, if they get transferred from surfaces or from environment into food, then it means the design can be further improved because ideally speaking, this should not happen in a good equipment design. Similarly, it is possible that the system or the equipment design or the material that has been used is used in, in a way that it can generate residues of the products that have been used for cleaning purposes. As I said earlier, cleaning is an operation that is very routinely done in food premises, uh, whether it is in line cleaning, whether the cleaning um, solutions are passed through pipes or whether it is an open cleaning. So these cleaning materials, they are not, of course, food grade and they are not acceptable to get into the food products. So the design must be uh, considering all these uh, possibilities that the cleaning material do not get into your end food product. Similarly, we have to avoid conditions that help microbial growth. As I earlier said, it could be dust or moisture or condensation of moisture may be due to the lower temperature of certain uh, pipings, etc. in a factory environment that lead to uh, condensation of water in certain areas and then that might accumulate certain dust particles and those dust particles then uh, can be a source of microorganisms or biofilm formation by these microorganisms. Uh, similarly, the design has to think that the cleanability must be improved. It should be ideally cleaned with less effort and less residues as well as uh, it should be uh, efficiently and quickly clean, cleanable. Uh, if we talk about the material that is used for uh, these uh, equipments or designs, uh, it must be inert so that it does not react with detergents or disinfectants, sanitizers for intended use that we expect, the use that is expected to be done within the food industry environment. These chemicals, because they have to, have to be used uh, for cleaning purposes, as I said, or sanitation or disinfection. So they should not be uh, reacting with the material that is used for uh, design of these equipment. So this has to be considered as well that proper food grade materials are used that do not uh, react chemically with these chemicals. Similarly, it is also possible that uh, these, uh, even if th these chemicals as for example, disinfectant, sanitizer, cleaning agents, they do not react with the uh, material, but they might have potential to transfer uh, them into the product. For example, if you, can have, if you use certain detergents to use the uh, milk processing plant, it is possibility that these detergents might get into the milk very easily because it's a liquid product. It has to pass through the same uh, pipes, so that would actually uh, increase the chances of having those surfactants or cleaning products getting into uh, the final product as residues. Similarly, it should uh, the material the, uh, that is used it should be corrosion free, 
it should not be toxic in nature uh, it should have mechanical stability uh, and the finish of the surface should be good so if we have these uh, characteristics within that material uh, there would be lesser uh, chances uh, of uh, contamination or cross contamination similarly the surface uh, area or the surface roughness or porosity of surface is also an important thing if we have very smooth surfaces that would mean they are easy to be clean uh, they does not allow the harboring of microorganisms in those pores similarly it would be using less amount of uh, cleaning agents uh, those cleaning material or other chemicals would not be attached to the porous uh, it would they would be attached to the porous surface and not to the smooth surface so we have to look at uh, the equipment it should have really smooth and polished surfaces so that they do not harbor uh, for uh, contamination of pathogens or other chemicals again we should also need to consider that what is the nature of food that has to be processed uh, now or in future and it should be uh, not reacting with the ingredient of food um, immediately or over the long run as well we have to consider that the food ingredients they do not they may be um, acidic or basic or they may be higher temperature involved in all these processing so that might there might be a possibility that these food ingredients or conditions they actually interact or react with these uh, materials uh, another strategically uh, important thing in design is that your contact surfaces should never be hidden they should be visual and they should be strategically placed in a way that uh, an inspector can actually look into those surfaces uh, if they can look into the surfaces then they would not be ignored and they would be of course clean and it would be easy to maintain and clean the surfaces if they are visible uh, there might be certain equipment that are prone to accumulate dust water oil etc they should be put away from the main processing lines so what are the control measures basically in summary they are equipment uh, they should be less transfer from equipment to material they should minimize microbial hazards uh, they should be designed for proper inspection uh, they should uh, fulfill this good hygiene uh, hygiene practice uh, principles uh, they should be visible for better inspection and they should minimize hazards i'll take some of the examples here for example the motors uh, that are used to power equip equipment they should be uh, put in a in a way that the lubricant that we use they do not get into contact with the food so they must be idly uh, put away uh, and they should be direct drive systems they are more better than having open motors or using lubricants um, because maybe during maintenance and cleaning uh, or repair uh the people who gets into the factory setting they might um, put something there that can contaminate your end food product another source of contamination is uh, the bearings in the system because uh, these uh, systems you no know, generally are lubricated most of the time and those lubricants or uh, oil materials uh, that can get into food so the solution for that is to use food grade material such as nylon uh that would need uh much less uh, lubrications and similarly uh, they should be sealed and self lubricating so that you don't have to put too much lubricant to them <coughs> another consideration is the seals they should be non toxic and they should be non absorbent so the seal that are used within equipments they should have these two qualities uh and they should be easy to be removed uh for inspection as well if we have to use certain kettles uh, they must be self draining uh, they should not be designed in a way that they leave uh, some residual water and that might or other juices or other food products or maybe other liquids so that could eventually lead to the growth of microorganisms there as uh, the mixer lubricant should not enter into the food product so we should consider that the lubricant should not be idly used uh, in very close proximity of food processing and if you have to use steam in many cases uh, for uh, maybe boiling or cooking or um, heat treatment uh, the food grade materials uh, they must be 
used when we have to use steam. So these were a few of the uh, considerations that must be taken into account while designing uh, food process equipment or uh, the designing of the layout of the food factory.